Hey, what's up guys? So we got some new cards to check out as well as the announcement of the new promos for the 2017 tin. But anyways, first off, let's go and check out the new card that can actually lock your opponent out of playing. Because who loves floodgates, or I guess negating mechanics of the game. But anyways, perform pop 5 arc magician. So anyways, it's a new pendulum monster level 1, and it actually seems pretty dang good. 100 attack, 100 defense, but we're not here for its stats. Uh, as far as uh, the attack and defense go. But anyways, a pendulum scale of 12. Its pendulum effect says you cannot pendulum summon monsters except from, from your extra die. This effect cannot be negated. The second part says apply these effects for each player based on the number of cards they have set in their spell and trap zones. So I'm not sure if this affects your opponent. It says it, is, it, says it affects each player, but I'm assuming that the, your opponent does not need to control one of these. And uh, anyways... Uh, for zero, it says monsters they control cannot attack. Also, their effects cannot be activated, which is actually pretty strong. And then, if you have four or more, the attack of monsters they control become double their original attack. Now, this is kind of interesting because, from my knowledge, and uh, you guys can correct me on this, but as far as I know, the new pendulum zones are now in the spell and trap, so you would never be able to use this because it says have set obviously pendulums would be activated being face up and they would be considered spell and traps but not set in the spell and trap zone so therefore you should not be able to get this effect but unless again uh, maybe translation issue but i believe this does affect your opponent people were freaking out about this simply because of a really easy combo but we're not even done with the effect let's finish the effect of the monster part and then we'll go ahead and show you guys how to make it really easy lock but anyways the monster effect says, if this card is in your graveyard, if a spell and trap card is set to your field, you can place this card from your graveyard to your pendulum. So you, this card can come back. And uh, obviously there's a lot of decks that don't have that many spell and traps uh, that they would want to keep set. Because if they don't have anything set, they're going to have their monsters not be able to attack and also their effects cannot even be activated. So I feel like this could be used in a lot of different decks. It doesn't have to be like perform power only obviously you can't pendulum summon but you don't even need a pendulum deck to run this card i think it could be a very dirty card to run into a uh, real simple combo too dark some uh while this card is uh faced up on the field counts as win also but anyways the main effect is your opponent cannot set any cards so if your opponent cannot set any cards their monsters they can't attack and their effects can't be activated so pretty much you've kind of soft locked them uh, I know Dark Smog not the most meta of cards, but it does create a lockdown uh, mechanic. But I'm sure there's going to be other things that are probably much better that can support this. Because it looks like Pendulums are getting that kind of shutdown effect. Really decent little card over there, definitely. But anyways, um, they, they did announce the a new promos for the Mega Tins. Now, there is a new card that I do want to go over. But first off, both of the Tins, here's the release date, by the way. It's 8 25 so another four months before we're getting these but anyways uh same price uh 20 per tin uh that's the retail price i know the other websites might sell it for a little bit more but they're both pretty decent so anyways first off there is a yugi tin and there's a kaiba tin the yugi one comes with dark magician and the kaiba one comes with blue eyes but most of you guys probably would have those cards but i know there's people that like to collect them so both of them will come with Proxy Dragon and Pot of Desire. So Pot of Desire is pretty self-explanatory card. You banish 10, you draw 2. Very expensive card, getting a reprint, awesome. Uh, Proxy Dragon, however, is an introduction to a Link monster. So it's just Link, two monsters. If a card or cards you control will be destroyed by Battle of a Card Effect, you can destroy one monster at this card's Link Point instead. So both of them will be uh, including a both Proxy Dragon and Pot of Desires. Now, here's what it gets a little bit different. Uh, oh, also, one of them comes with Yugi tokens, the other one comes with Kaiba tokens, but that's not too relevant unless, of course, you're just a collector. As far as uh, the actual cards that you're going to be actually using, one of them comes with number 71, Rebarian Shark, and then uh, also Dreamland. We're going to go ahead and go over those effects really quick. So, uh, number 71, Rebarian Shark over here. Uh, two level three monsters, once per unit, target another monster in your graveyard except for itself. Special summon if you do detach from material. Uh, from this card and attach it to the summon monster as material. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can choose one rank up uh, spell in your deck and place it on top of your deck, which would be really cool. The uh, What is that? Rank up the seventh one where you just top deck it. Anyways, that could be kind of cool. Not the most meta of things, but it definitely is kind of a cool card. And going back to it, Dreamland is also included in the Yugi tin. So here is what this new card, Dreamland, I didn't even, I, I haven't heard about this card even in the OCG, but anyways, let's check it out. So anyways, Dreamland, it's a field spell card that says, 
This card gains these effects depending on the extra deck monster card types fusion secret exposition of a monster on the field. So fusion, once per turn, if a monster or monster is set from your hand or field to the graveyard by the effect, uh, card effect, except for during the damage step, you can draw a card. Secret, when a monster is no more special except during the damage step, you can increase the level of that monster by one even if this card leaves the field. Exceeds uh, once per turn during your end phase, destroy the face up monster or monsters on the field with the highest level, all if tied. You can only activate one Dreamland per turn. I think that's a kind of an interesting card. It definitely has the ability to give you that extra draw power. Uh, it is a once per turn, but still it replenishes itself relatively quick. So I could see some people trying this out in a lot of different decks. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, it's definitely a decent little card. Um, it could be a card that lingers on board and it kind of gets annoying for certain decks. Now uh, that is it for the Yugi tin, as far as what we know. I, I think, <coughs> well, dying, but um, I think that that's pretty much it. I think both of them will be getting the same type, like the packs will be the same anyways. But anyways, um, the Kaiba tin comes with uh, number 68, Sinophon the Sky Prison. So let's go and check out that card really quick. Uh, so here's number 68, Sinophon the Sky Prison. So it requires two level eight monsters, it's a rock, 2100 attack, 2700 defense. It gains 100 attack and defense for each monster in the graveyards. Once per turn, you detach one material from this card until the end of the, your opponent's turn. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, a monster that cannot be special summoned by or from the graveyard. Um, so that's a decent little effect over there. It obviously has an okay amount of stats, uh, but mostly against cars that are decks, I should say, that run uh, like a lawn mowing next door, uh, grass is green. And this could be excellent. I mean, they're going to get like 20 cards at that point. That's 4,000 just straight off the bat. And obviously, uh, it can get really dirty late game. Uh, however, I feel like a lot of those decks that run lawn mowing run the fairy tale, fairy tale snow. So the four, they're going to get banished, but it's still a decent little card. I uh, definitely wouldn't mind not running this in some other decks that uh, have some extra room. I know Light Sworn with the new Dark Judgment Dragon, they have some extra room in the extra deck, so uh, throwing this uh, against the mirror match can definitely be pretty good. Uh, but anyways, uh, the other card that comes in the Kaibatan is Elder God, I believe it's pronounced Enchest. But uh, anyways, let's go and check out that card. That card is actually pretty important for a lot of crazier combos in the game. But Elder God Enchest, so it's level 4, Fairy Light. 2500 attack, 1200 defense points. It requires one Synchro and one Exceed monster. It must be special summoned from your extra deck by sending the above cards you control to the graveyard. Cannot be special by other ways. You don't use Polymerization. Once per turn, you get to special one level four monster from your hand. This card is sent uh, to the graveyard. You can target one uh, card on the field and destroy it. You can only special summon uh, Elder God and Chest once per turn. Now, there was a combo back with uh, Zaborg the Monarch. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys this card. I, I don't think Monarchs are too relevant, but I'm going to go ahead and mention it for the sake of mentioning it. Um, let me go to Zaborg, uh, the Mega Monarch. What you would do is you would destroy itself. And uh, it has this effect where well, if you tribute, I believe, but this card is tribute summon. Uh, you can target one monster. Okay, uh, here's the important effect. If this card is uh, Tribute Summon, target one monster, field, destroy it. If it was a light monster, okay, so you destroy itself, and it, he counts as a light monster. Yeah, you guys can see this, okay. Just making sure. Um, and what you do is you destroy himself, and then you get to send as many, uh, both players send as many cards as possible from their extra to the graveyard, but not more than the original level slash rank, and he's at level eight. So you basically destroy your opponent's extra deck. And then what you do with this is you get to send multiple copies of Elder uh, Elder Entity and Chest, and uh, you are able to pop multiple cards. So that's basically what you use it for um, is the uh, when it's sent to the graveyard. And that, that effect is not a once per turn. You can only special sell in one per turn, but you're not even going to be using that for that little combo here. But um, I think that, that's it. Oh, I also wanted to mention with this combo, uh, going back, because I was, I was trying to think of like how else to make uh, the Performer Pile 5 arc really good. And you know that card, Heavy Dust Storm, seems pretty good now because if you're forcing your opponent to set a bunch of cards, because they're going to have to set, otherwise they're going to have everything they gave. Uh, Heavy Dust Storm could be an excellent card just to run in like a, kind of a cheesy deck. I don't know, I feel like this card could definitely be pretty good. As far as having uh, the four or more, I, I want to ask you guys, because... Like I said, the, the Pendulum Zones count in the Spell and Trap, so you can only have three Spell and Trap, so I don't know how you would activate it. It seems like it's anti-synergy, like it wouldn't make any sense, but perhaps uh, maybe a translation issue. And I, like I said, I believe this affects both players. If it only affects you, then why would you, this, why, it sounds terrible, but 
That card is probably going to be used in a lot of things if it works like the way I said it is, which is you just activate it and you're like, okay, make Dark some Morgue, you're locked out. But uh, anyways, as far as the 10s go, a lot of you guys always ask me, which one should I buy? I think Rebarian Shark and Dreamland, they're not bad cards either. Um, the Son of the Sky Prison is also like a decent card, but I feel like the Elder God just kind of has a slight little edge uh, versus the other one. But I think that the most important thing, which is Pot of Desires, uh, is in both Proctor Dragon, at the moment, I don't think it's like that insane, but it's still nice just to have a Link monster because we're going to need them if we're going to be busting things out of the extra deck. But let me know, guys, what tin you think is better for the value. Like I said, I think that the Elder God is better than the other ones. And just by a slight amount. It's not like a huge amount, uh, but nonetheless, you guys can let me know what you think of uh, these tins. Which one do you think is better? But I've, like I said, if you guys know any crazy combos with that new... Um, this new uh, Performer Pop 5 Arc Magician. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll get some footage of that for you guys because I definitely think this card is definitely uh, going to be seeing some play in the game. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give that like button a slap -a and hit that subscribe button for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.